Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Show and Tell video. Now today we are going to be looking at my dad's 1923 Model T delivery van. This was the Budweiser edition that came out in 1976 to celebrate the 100 years of Budweiser from 1876 to 1976. Now this is another great model kit that my dad built. I did have to make some repairs for it and I'll tell you the whole story coming up next as we head down to the bench and check this out. Now here we have my dad's 1923 Ford delivery van and this is the first edition of it where it has the 100 years of Budweiser beer 1876 to 1976 so you can tell this is quite an older model. Now it is a really cool little one as you can see. This has had various re-releases over the years and the latest edition is the Coca-Cola Model T. Now one thing that I did notice about this is I do believe my dad painted this with testers paint back in the day and there's a lot of fingerprints in the black paint and on the red paint as well. Now I have to confess this kit has the Laurel and Hardy black plastic hood on there right now because I thought I could get rid of the fingerprints by polishing them with a little bit of wax and sadly because the paint is so soft I actually the wax absorbed into the hood and I polished it a bit and I thought okay well maybe because sometimes you know wax will suck in so uh, waxing out wax will actually get back to the shine and uh, sadly it cut right through the paint up in the top so I'm going to have to repaint my dad's hood but luckily there are some stronger black paints out there that I can use that won't be soft now <laughs> The reason why I thought I could get away with that is because this was painted back in the 70s and I figured that by now the paint should no longer be soft. Well, I was sadly mistaken. Now I do like the way my dad painted the wooden spokes with the red ring around there. That's really cool. And again looking at the graphic on there, really nice. Inside you can see all the little gauges and whatnot that the Model T had and again turned out really really nice. Now what I can do is remove the hood like so and you can see dad's Model T engine. Now he didn't paint it black like I believe it should be. He painted it with the gloss green and I can now bring that up into the camera here. I don't know how well that's picking up. But uh, that is your tester's green. And then there's those gauges up in there. Again, a really nice model built by my dad as well as AMT. Now one thing that, it, this was in a plastic dustproof bag and that headlight broke off. So I actually did re-glue this back on just to make it all nice. Now here's what we have underneath the van. And you can see my dad put in all the rubber bushings in between the wood. That's just with some testers black paint. And then there we've got our entire oil pan and transmission cover, which was the way it was back then. Now keep in mind, this is the planetary gearbox, which is basically an automatic with pedals on it. That's the uh, most basic form. There's those torsion bars going out to the front springs and into the rear axle, as well as the rear spring in behind here. Now dad did paint the springs with steel, which I don't think is accurate to the Model T. Because uh, again, Ford would have just painted this the cheapest way possible, which would have been to paint everything black. But again, you can see just how nice it is. A couple of mold marks underneath here, <laughs> constantly pointing those out. That's a AMT flaw. But my dad, I do believe, sanded them down just a bit, maybe to knock the flash off. Overall though, it looks really good. Well, I really hope you enjoyed taking a look at this build of my dad's 1923 Model T delivery truck. If you've built one of these in the past, I know AMT's released it a whole bunch of times since then, and the most current edition is the Coca-Cola truck, although there was a chocolate bar version of this as well. And if you've built any of those, please share them on our Facebook page. Also, in the comments down below, let us know how you enjoyed building it, 
Was there any problems you ran into? How'd you like building that crazy frame underneath there? I know that's a difficult one. And all the other great stuff. Now, if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Also, I do sell model cars. I have a Monster Hobbies model car online store where you can buy model cars. So check that out, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Click that join button that's right here so that for $3 a month you can help support our channel. One of my great dreams is to build a museum that features my dad's models as well as my own. So by clicking that join button you can also help that happen. So until next time everybody, enjoy your model kit builds and happy model building!